Hi, uh, my name is Jorge Rakela. I'm a transplant hepatologist at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I have been working in, at Mayo Clinic in Arizona for the last 15 years. Prior to that, I was in Rochester for 12 years. During the last uh, two years, I have been associate director for the Center for Regenerative Medicine in Arizona, and the director of our center is Dr. Andre Tersik. I would like to tell you a few words about what we're expecting to do in the area of regenerative medicine in Arizona in 2015. First and foremost, we'll inaugurate our human therapeutic cell lab that has been built during 2014 and will be finished by February 2015 under the direction of Dr. Dennis Gastineau. We're looking forward to have the laboratory in place will provide cellular preparations that are needed for bone marrow transplantation program in Arizona. We're performing over 200 bone marrow transplants a year and growing. Also will allow us to develop cell preparations for other indications of cell therapies, like in cardiology, neurology, nephrology, and liver diseases. So this is gonna be a major turning point in the area of regenerative medicine in Arizona. The second area that we are developing is establishing a program of trachea transplantation and laryngeal regeneration. This is a pioneer program in the United States and we'll be establishing it during the year 2015. And we're hoping to take it to our patients as a therapeutic possibility. The third program that we are going, we're establishing is the development in association with Rochester of a, and the BioTrust program, induced pluripotent stem cells coming from patients with end-stage liver disease. What we are hoping to have a very robust collection of patients, a skin biopsy from these patients waiting for liver transplantation, from this skin fibroblast to prepare induced pluripotent stem cells and then hepatocytes and be able to reproduce in those hepatocytes produced in this matter the original disease that led to transplantation. This platform will allow us to uh, investigate etiology as well as try new therapies in the setup that is not invasive for the patient. We also will continue our program using cellular therapies in patients with end-stage heart disease with heart failure. And we're hoping to be part of the program that Dr. Tersik is establishing in testing cardiomyocyte preparations in patients with heart failure in many centers in the United States as well as Europe.